Hey guys, uh, I'm just talking to two of you here. Uh, that's funny, uh, but uh, sorry for the sorry for such a short notice. Uh, I just gave you guys the ten five minutes, right? So it's it's really that's pretty much short notice. Um, but welcome back to chain of thought i i literally forced some time out of my schedule it's it's a quick check-in from seoul south korea tonight so i'm here for business but uh i don't want to break the streak so this is this is literally um for the, for the sake of keeping the streak so that's what i'm doing here and I see three of you uh, here tuning in, and I will I will remember your names forever for being here. In spite of such short notice, I I will I will remember your names. And so yeah, for 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 anyone else, I think you guys are. You guys are catching up, listening to the replay, and uh, it's it's really a quick check in. Um, while I'm in, while I'm in Korea, sandwiched between the meetings, and but um, tonight's topic is close to my heart because it's about what makes Web three worth building in the first place. So tonight's theme. Is from token holders to stakeholders about rethinking incentives in decentralized storage. Okay, so anyone who's spent time in Web3 knows the cycle, right? A protocol launches, talk reverse go live, every everyone piles in, and for a while the participation is off the charts. But as soon as the reverse from dry, the excitement phase, and what's left is often a quiet, empty network. So token incentives are powerful, but speculation alone is not a stewardship. So if we want real lasting infrastructure, we need people who care about more than just a quick payout. So let me tell you why token incentives alone fall short. So take Helium. For example, so at its peak, over 340,000 hotspots powered its network, but when incentives dropped, more than 90% of them went offline. While Hype Mapper, so a similar story, early boom, then a steep drop in participation when the economics stopped making sense. Even in Filecoin and other major protocols, participation cools when, ret when returns diminish. And what's left? A handful of insiders or like automated bots. I don't know. Good, good to have you here. Actually, it's been a, so. Onu, he's uh, he's from Turkey. He's is uh, one of the one of the best guys I I've ever known, and uh, absolutely the greatest mind. Um, from Turkey. Um. <laughs> thanks, thanks on all. So yeah, probably um for future for future spaces when I have some when I have more time, um I will bring him onto the onto the space right as a as a speaker next time. Okay, but anyway, so these stories uh, show us rivers get people in the door, but they don't keep them here. They don't keep them there here. Okay, so we need real ownership participation and a sense of shared mission so that's what i that's that's why i want to talk about the old cell I, I i kind of talk about the old cell every day recently but uh, there's definitely um reason i i'm talking about the old cells with so much excitement because because for the first time this isn't about buying a piece of tech and hoping for the best but it's about owning it's about owning 
a seat at the table. So when you join as a node owner, you're not just earning potential rewards. Okay. You're stepping into the role of a builder, a guardian, a true backbone of the Xenia network. So it's a totally different story, right? Owning with a purpose. That's what it is. So you'll have the chance to own rivers, of course, but those rivers are not just for holding a token. They're for actively keeping the network alive, resilient and growing. And you have the power to shape the future, to shape the network. As a node owner, your decisions, your participations, and your reliability directly impact the health and the future of the entire ecosystem. Sounds good, cool, right? So I want you to be the reason Web3 works in the next wave of digital transformation, like asset tokenization, open knowledge, digital rights. Networks will only be as strong as their real stakeholders. And that could be you. So you're not just an early adopter. You're one of the people who will be able to say, I have I helped build this. That that that'll be cool, right? Global inclusive ownership is the is what I'm talking about. So the near is for everyone, not not just the biggest players or insiders. Wherever you are in the world, this is an open door to real participation. Okay. And like I said before, like I said yesterday, I think, the asset tokenization is projected to hit 16 trillion US dollars by 2030. But who's going to run and secure that infrastructure? It shouldn't be left to just a handful of big tech firms or anonymous whales. It should be us. It should be you, the builders, the believers, the community. So this not sell is how we open that door. Okay, so the, the no sale is not just the one-off event. It's the starting line for the next era of Xenia. So you get clear, transparent details about how to participate. No insiders, no backroom deals. And you, uh, you will have the tools and support to make your node come with your technical pro or just getting started. And you will join a group of group of all the contributors who get direct access, inside knowledge, and a voice in where we go from here. And as always, this is not just financial advice. It's an invitation to help build and own the future. So I'll ask you, are you ready to move from spectator to stakeholder? It sounds similar. <laughs> they sound similar, but totally different, you know. So I want you to be ready to move from spectator to stakeholder. Not just as not just a token holder, but the stakeholder. And what would make you want to go all in? Not just for a quick flip, but for something you are proud to own, right? What do you want to see in a decentralized storage network that's truly built by and for its community? It could be very interesting, yeah? So drop your thoughts in the comments. Um, DM me anytime. Uh... But that's pretty much it for tonight. Because, like I said, it's it's just a quick check in. Um, I'm just uh, I'm just between meetings and meetings, and especially at night, you know, the um, the Saturday Saturday night business partners in Korea sounds like uh, you know, sounds like a lot to do, right? <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's it was just a quick check-in, but for the sake of keeping the streak, um, 
for the sake of like uh, staying connected with you all um i had to do this but uh, yeah thanks again for joining it's a nice chain of thought um it was about being from token holders to stakeholders and let's keep let's keep building yeah and owning the infrastructure of the future together so you all have safe travels to everyone out there um see you next time most likely tomorrow around around the same yeah probably the same time or oh, i'm not sure so i so tomorrow i'll be flying from korea to to tokyo uh like 9 p.m like six or six to nine um in japanese time so hopefully i will do the i will do the um i will do the space a bit earlier than today yeah but uh anyway so this was just for the sake of <laughs> keeping the streak you know i kind of promised to you and myself that i would do um Keep doing, keep doing the spaces. Keep hosting this series of space um, at least until um, we go for the node cell and the mainnet and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know how long it'll we can <laughs> we can keep uh, the streak live, but. Uh, Thanks, thanks for tuning in. And it was a, it was, it was a, it was a really quick one, but uh, I wish you, I wish you enjoyed um, my space today. But anyway, uh, that's it. That's it for tonight. And I will talk to you tomorrow. So have a good one, everyone. And whether yeah, whether you're in Asia, the Middle East, Africa, the North America, or anywhere now, wherever you are, um, let's keep this streak together. So without you guys, um, having space hosting sp this series of space is nothing. So I really appreciate your presence here, especially these. How many? Like seven seven people here um i will remember your names okay <laughs> and I'll, i will remember your icons too your names and icons well i will i will just screenshot okay and uh one day we will meet in person and if i if we meet in person i, I will give you some surprise there just for being here tonight with this such short notice space. Trust me, you will get something from me. So until then, um, not just until then, but until tomorrow, <laughs> um, I wish you all the best and have a good one. But thank you for thank you for participating tonight, space. Um, that yeah, this is this is fun. This is it. So let me go back to. I have more more meetings. Okay. So thank you all. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the comments too. Yeah. Thank you, Hassel. All right. Have a good one. Bye.